What would drive someone to do this? The trail of money, sex, and drugs. It was like a building crashed down on me. Early on the morning of November 27, 2017, Sam Goodwin packed up his prized Winchester 3030 rifle into his silver Dodge truck and headed out for what was supposed to be a short hunting trip with his good friend, Bill Thomas. Bill had to cancel last minute, so Sam decided to continue on his own. I always told him not to go out to the woods on his own. It's dangerous. He always told the kids never to go out on their own. It was only a short hunting trip, but he never came back. When he didn't return home for Thanksgiving as planned. It was devastating to the family and me when he disappeared. He was always a loving father and husband and no one knew what happened. Patty immediately called his friend Bill and was shocked to find out that Sam had gone out on his own. Her next call was to the Springfield Police Department, knowing that the clock was ticking for Sam. Sam was active and well-respected in the community. He even was close friends with some of the rescue crew. Patty worked with authorities and was able to quickly locate his truck, but there was no sign of Sam or his Winchester 3030. What the authorities found odd was what wasn't in his truck. Normally, Sam would bring at least a tarp or a cooler, but his truck was empty and clean. None of the usual supplies were present. Rescue crews kept up the search for weeks, which turned into months, with no sign of Sam or his 3030 Winchester. Why didn't Sam have his normal hunting gear? Did Sam even intend to go hunting? Where is Sam's prize 3030? After months, authorities had to give up the search. Investigators knew something just wasn't quite right. But the only clue was Sam's spotless truck. Not much to go on. After a year with no leads or evidence, Sam became another missing persons cold case. In the following years, Sam's family never gave up hope. The spring of 2020 was an especially wet one. Oregon set many records for rainfall that year and even experienced flooding. As the skies cleared, the town was left to survey the damage. That's when the shocking discovery was made along the Willamette River. A body had been washed up. There was a wallet and yes, it turned out to be Sam. They could finally lay Sam to rest. At least that's what they thought. Under normal protocol, Sam's body was sent to the coroner for what they thought to be a routine autopsy. The autopsy revealed that Sam had been shot four times and had a broken leg. The fatal shot was sent into his skull at close range. Undeniably, Sam had been murdered. Now that authorities had a body and the evidence of foul play, the investigation kicked off into full steam ahead. Who would want Sam dead? Was Sam really the man he appeared to be? Detective Bryce Campbell got the case and he had his hands full untangling the tangled web of Sam's life. Money never seemed to be a problem. Detective Bryce was shocked when he started uncovering some of Sam's relationships around town. The trail of money, sex, and drugs. When the truth came out about Sam, it was like a building crashed down on me. I couldn't breathe. Sam had connections with prostitutes, drug dealers, and organized crime in Springfield. Sam had been busy when he wasn't putting on a good show. Authorities were forced to follow leads from some of the less savory members of the Springfield community. What happened to Sam Goodwin? Find out tonight on 2020.